you were trying to sell those earrings you said i am trying to sell these earrings so you don't want to keep them no but i don't know maybe i'll change my mind i just have so much stuff you know what okay what makes you want to keep something and what makes you want to sell it because you so you don't love those earrings you just think they're cool they're unique yeah i think they're really cool and unique but i'm not like attached to them mm, what makes you attached to something mm, that's a good question is it the look of it is it the feel of it is it who you get it from is it when you get it is it just i'm sure you have some material stuff like do you have earrings that you just know you would never give away because they're just like your favorite yes <laughs> for sure like my yeah. christmas earrings i love christmas mm. and so i actually have a box of just christmas earrings one says jingle one says jingle <laughs> and then i have like christmas tree earrings i have like bell earrings like i love it so that's because it's attached to a holiday that you love yeah mm. yeah and then i'm sure you have like special things that you've gotten from specific people you know you don't mm -hmm. give that stuff away when um when we went to where was it tennessee or carolinas for a cabin trip oh, that for was thanksgiving good. okay yeah yeah that was like a few months ago mm -hmm. uh. and i saw these and i was like oh this is a very popular brand the brand is called sugar fix and oh. a lot of women like that brand so i was like oh i'll buy these and I re i'll resell them Oh, so you bought them with the intent to resell it? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. I just haven't had the designated time yet to, you know, sell them. I've never been like a buy and seller. I've always been like mm. service-driven, create something and sell it. So that's like a different part of the mind. Yeah, you got to know what like trends are going on, you know, what people like. Uh, to be able to identify it and then yeah i think it just runs in my family my family is like really we really love flea markets thrift stores you know we like to find we like to go on little treasure hunts and we used to go to yard sales a lot like i used to go to yard sales with my mom all the time um and that's how we grew up it's just like finding little treasures here and there and then later on realizing that oh yeah we can sell these things and we used to do yard sales ourselves, and we would make like a hundred dollars per day just doing yard sales mm. at our house. I feel like that's the same way for you, though. The real topic. right, like your like, dad. See, look, like oh. my dad and my mom are both like service. Like my mom had a home daycare. Oh yeah. So she took care of people for a living. Well, took care of little ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then my dad. I mean, he worked a nine to five job for a little minute. He was a computer programmer for a while when I was real young. And then he got laid off from that company because something happened with the company. They had to let some people go. Mm -hmm. And then he had to make a decision what was what he was going to do next. And I saw him start up a DJ karaoke business. And for the majority of my time growing up, I've seen him do his, um, his entrepreneur thing. Nice. So, like, I have two parents, my mom being the first. I always saw my mom as an entrepreneur. And then I saw my dad when I was in a... Maybe like middle school. Yeah. That's when he went all out. So what there you think you go. I'm gonna do? Like <laughs> <laughs> you gotta base your money making moves off of what's naturally in you. Cause that's what that's what you'll do the best. Because it's in your realm, you're comfortable, you're already knowledgeable, it's it's like it's in you, it's embedded in you. If you're trying to figure out what you're trying to do or what you wanna do with business, really take it back to your upbringing. Like what type of childhood did you have? What did you do? What did your parents do? Mm. And then you'll start to understand who you are. And then you can figure out what you want to do and what you want to sell.